to do. This is Paul Catalina's Top 5 at 555. Brought to you by Slapsticks Comedy Club. Lots of stuff's going on at Slapsticks. Talked to Kevin and Mike the other day. They've got a lot of cool plans going on. July 3rd is the goal right now for a soft opening weekend. Found out more at slapstickscomedy.com. All right. Top five movies about submarines, and this came about because I was watching one of these movies the other day, and I thought, man, there's a lot of good movies about submarines, and Jack and I talked about it, and some of these Jack knows, and some of these Jack will not know. Number five, Run Silent, Run Deep, starring Clark Gable. It's a really good one from 1958. Uh, it's about a submarine captain who just gets obsessed with, you know, sinking this one uh one boat it just obsessed with it it's really really good a little ahead of its time i thought uh this one uh way back so if, jack if you want to see how things were when things were in black and white watch this one although jack's probably from the the generation that doesn't watch black and white movies i'll tell you what man uh, something i've been doing here lately because i'm just so tired of this uh, the noise uh out in the world and just the constant just flashing lights and bright colors and everything that we're just inundated with constantly i'll throw it on some tcm and i might not like sit down and just really watch the movie but i find it really relaxing compared to a lot of the stuff on tv nowadays i just have like an old black and white movie on there and seeing the clark gables and the marilyn monroe's and people like that i think it's great you know it's yeah. a good old one Perry Mason. I know it's not a movie, but yeah. those the murder mystery TV show, pretty much. Oh, nice. There you go. I'm yeah. impressed. My I'm dad impressed. was born in '57. Yeah. yeah. Like, come on. Yeah. Raymond Burr. Nice, nicely done. Number four, The Abyss. This is the uh, this is the only science fiction one on the list, but it's, I mean, it's a trippy movie. Uh, James Cameron uh, directed it. Ed Harris. They get these aliens that are underwater. It's wild. Yeah. It's a wild ass movie. Yeah, it is. It's a it's a good movie. Is that the one with Jacqueline Bishop? I believe yeah, she's in that. Yeah, yeah, right. she's in that. All right, number three, with future Texas Governor Matthew McConaughey. Hey, U five seven one. This is World War II. Uh, the the my favorite part of this movie is that John Bon Jovi's in it for like ten minutes, and he's taking a picture of of Matthew McConaughey right when the the sub gets blown up and they have to jump in the. In the German sub, and this is based on a true story about stealing the German code breakers, and uh, you know, an American sub crew getting on a German sub and like having to kind of steal it. It was, it was really tons of dra drama. Harvey Keitel's in it. Can't be Harvey Keitel. Uh, that's that's a good one. You have you seen this one, Smokey? No, you've not seen that one. You'd no. like it. It's up your alley. I don't think I have. Yeah, uh, no, I don't think so. Number two, The Hunt for Red October. Yes, excellent. Yes. Uh, Here's the best. This movie is the, the I, in my opinion, the best Jack Ryan thing that's ever been done. It was the first one, but uh, Alec Baldwin, the best Jack Ryan, and there's been good Jack Ryans. But my favorite part of this movie is that Sean Connery is playing a Russian in this movie. He's playing a Russian sub commander, but at no point does he decide to do any other accent other than Sean Connery. So instead of doing like a Russian accent, he's just like, "I'm a Russian sub commander." Yeah. <laughs> That's it. We're going. We're, this is the Red October. And you know, it, that's just it. And it yeah. absolutely works. Yeah, and it works. Like at no I, point I did I thought not thought of it that way. I thought it was. I thought he was very Russian. But he's not. I mean, like I mean, Sam, I Sam I, Neil from Jurassic Park plays yeah. his second in command. He's doing a Russian accent. Most everybody else is doing a Russian accent. No one else. Is Sean Connery's like, no, I'm Sean F and Connery, <laughs> and I'm sticking with it. And, and you're right. Yeah, I'm Sean Connery, and you're not. Right? <laughs> exactly. Yeah. That's that's right. All right, number one. I I couldn't not put this one at number one because Smokey would have punched me in the face it would have run the air it yeah number one crimson tide i don't know if this two hours and something of this movie those two came it, out of really kind of close to together did they yeah, not these yeah, two movies yeah uh yeah and uh gene hackman uh denzel washington this movie is tense man mm. it is very tense and they do a great job of like zooming in on like the faces and like the beads of sweat on Vigo Mortensen's head or or all those things that just or whoever like, that is yeah, yeah well he's in the movie too That's Vigo Mortensen's Vigo Mortensen's head you know like it just all those things that they did and man it's just it's great that's those two I don't know if they were released within 10 years of each other I think oh, they about were, three maybe three those were two those are two of my favorite movies those are in the top five to ten yeah 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 okay yeah Crimson uh, Tide is easy and that's a young from. Denzel right yeah yeah I uh, also, I wouldn't put it on the top five, but Greyhound on Apple TV is yeah. pretty good. It's a, kind of more of a blockbuster, but it's it's pretty interesting. It's, mm -hmm. it's good stuff. But yeah. yeah, I wouldn't have had a top five. That's a, that's a solid list. There was another submarine movie. I can't remember. Military type maneuvers and stuff like that. I'll have to track that one down and let you know. I but did not put, put for anybody who wants to comment on this, I did not put Das Boot on it because it's five hours long. 
Who's got that kind of time? Is that yeah. a series or a movie? It's a movie from the 70s. I think Ooh. the 70s or late 60s. Yeah, that's way Four too hours, much. 53 minutes. That's way too high. All right, thanks to our guest, Tony Ma.